So tell us a story how, you know, one of your success stories about how, you know, you really made a dramatic improvement in somebody's health because of yoga. There's, there's been quite a few. It's pretty amazing to see where people come in on a one-on-one basis. And I have a gal who was coming in and she has all of the, the creature comforts and luxuries that life, this blessed life can afford, but she was having anxiety. She was having issues sleeping and they all just stemmed off each other and made it worse. So we worked with very simple technique called yoga nidra uh, along with um, some cold water and some grounding and grounding. And it was about 40 days worth of practice, consistent practice. But I saw a massive shift in her and not, not just me, but she saw a massive shift. Her husband, her family, friends, coworkers, her relationships had changed. Uh, no more. Well, she was weaning off of the anxiety medication. And like we talked about this before we came on, it's not really our realm or our place to tell people to get on medication or get off medication. So we just try to find like this gal here. I showed her or helped her learn to, to sleep better at different parts of the day where she could use a little bit more energy or, or where she's willing to, to let go. And even just like in the middle of the day, small 10 minute session of deep, um, not, not quite deep sleep, but calming the mind. It, um, it resets, it shifted the, her nervous system back into a place of balance. Absolutely. Jen, do you have any comments or questions well, on that? that? That makes a lot of sense because a lot of times, I mean, like for me personally, when I'm stressed or anxious, I hold my breath. Mm-hmm. So I'm not breathing, <laughs> you know, and I've done that since I was a child. And so it's something that you've learned throughout your life. So it does take some focus mm-hmm. and having someone, you know, show you the steps that you need to, to get to that point. And it's pretty exciting to hear that, you know, you help somebody in their relationships. And a lot of times I think when I think of yoga, at least right now, I think of it's a physical part that you went to a gym and worked out. You know, I think like you mentioned in the beginning that the breathing part is is slightly missing in the package of, you know, um, maybe of what the intention of yoga was. So I'm, I'm thinking ancestrally it was to actually be more meditation and mindful. Would that be correct? Absolutely. Meditation for sure. Meditation is the key or at least in the lineage that we study, it's, it's all about using all the different tools of yoga to access a deeper sense of connection to self, um, connection to source, whatever that is for you, whether that's God or your soul, um, and having purpose. That's what yoga is. And that's why mm-hmm. we, the one-on-ones that we do are so, so powerful because we're really getting to know our clients and really learning about them. I think Travis had a client that, um, she came to him because she she was pregnant and she was dealing with just a lot of anxiety about going through, um, childbirth. And she was very constricted and just felt super, super nervous. And he went through, um, a personalized practice with her. And it was so cool because I think we were sitting at dinner and her husband had sent a picture of like brand new baby, like she had just given birth and she's sharing that with Travis. Mm. Yeah. Healthy, healthy little baby girl, healthy mom, healthy baby. Yeah. 